A massive earthquake hit Myanmar in March, leaving more than 3,800 people dead. In a world first, rescuers turned to some unlikely helpers to search for survivors. Cockroaches, they may make your skin crawl, but NHK World's Lim Ming Fong shares how they could save your life. This one has been turned into a cyborg. It has been fitted with a tiny backpack that includes an infrared camera and an antenna for communication. Can you climb it? When a researcher operates the controller, the creature climbs as instructed. Electrodes send gentle electrical signals to the cockroach's sensory organs to control its movements. Japanese professor Sato Hirotaka leads a team at a university in Singapore to develop cyborg insects. The massive tsunami and quake that struck Japan in 2011 motivated him to research using small insects for disaster search operations. The subject chosen was 6 cm long Madagascar cockroach. Sato says its large bag is good for carrying electronic devices and the wingless bug is easy to control remotely because it cannot fly. When the cockroach's infrared camera detects human body temperature, the system on its back beeps, sending an alert wirelessly to a remote rescue team. At disaster sites, various complex movements are needed. That's a bit hard for the current small robots. Insects live in nature and can survive in harsh conditions like being exposed to water and clouds of dust. So the key of this research is to utilize their characteristics. The insects got their first mission in March, when they were sent to quick hit areas in Myanmar. Ten cyborg cockroaches help teams from Singapore search for people where buildings collapse. You can see that there are small gaps uh, in between that uh, the search dogs and the civil defense personnel cannot go inside. So that's where we deploy these small little cockroaches so it can crawl inside the small little gaps and to search for survivors. No one was found this time, but Singapore's government is optimistic about using them in the future. We definitely want to scale up. So in future, touch wood, if anything, any disaster happens, we hope to support SCDF, Singapore SCDF, in their operations overseas in terms of humanitarian operations to search for survivors. Researchers are developing an automated assembly line so the cyborgs can be quickly deployed. A prototype of an AI power system recognizes insects' bodies and attaches their backpacks with more speed and accuracy. Outfitting one now takes only about a minute. Doing it by hand took more than an hour. I want to elevate this technology beyond just papers and academic presentations and put it into practical use to save people. Researchers are paving the way to their ultimate goal, ensuring that rescuers can find everyone who goes missing in a disaster. Lim Ling Fong, NHK World, Singapore.